class showdown of these two Virginia programs, Virginia and Liberty. And it begins with a touchback. We will see the Flames offense led by Stephen Buckshot Calvert, guy that only played one series of DB his entire high school career, so he's inexperienced. Under pressure, down goes Calvert. Jordan Mack and Aaron Famui got there first. This is one of the best games the passer in the country they have had to they want to stay out of it and they want to stay out of third and long they did not do it on that series fair catch signaled for and made and the cavaliers will begin their first offensive possession in fantastic field position on the flames third most of the ecc on second and short the give is to lamont atkins and he will plow forward for the first down atkins chris sharp and mike collins also might see some time. The completion to Dubois. Assis Dubois held without a catch two weeks ago. Close to first down yardage there. Atkins back in there. It's Cowley the tight end in motion. And out of the backfield. Atkins to the 10 and down near the five yard line. Although he stepped out of bounds at the eight. That's where he will be spotted. On third and goal. Perkins with plenty of time. To his left. Let's it go. Touchdown, Virginia. Jana ran across the back of the goal line and hauls in his first touchdown of the season for the Wahoos. He hit to the quarterback. Look how long Perkins has to sit and wait with the four-man pass rush. And now nobody's better than he is at buying time and finds his big timer Jana along the back line. And it mentioned his first touchdown. It's their screen or draw something simple to maybe get some more yardage. Well, I'm going to correct myself. Yarborough, the intended target on that last play. And here's Gandy Golden, the top target for the Flames. Aiden Alves, his second punt of the day. And the fair catch made by Billy Kemp, the fourth. And a flag comes in late. On the D-line for the Flames. Third down and seven. Sets his feet, puts it right on the money. That's Terrell Chapman to move the chains for UVA. See those corners playing off in that picture you got there. Of course, Chapman was Perkins' former roommate back in Arizona. Didn't play the last few games. Here's Jana, who's become Bryce's favorite target these past few games. Big last week, oh, two weeks ago. 
Calvert downfield. That's caught by Gandy Golden for a first down. Smith's hips as he runs hard off the ball and is open. And down the seam, he's got the tight end, Huntley, who lost the football. But they're going to rule it down. And so they felt like it was enough evidence here to maybe take an additional look. Certainly can't see the football from that angle. Here would be about a 50-yarder. See if they can get closer. Fake the give. Pressure coming. Downfield. That is a Liberty touchdown to Noah Frith. Is coming out of receivers, so you wonder if Reed might have got it banged up on that play. It's actually Hugo Obasi returning that kick for Virginia. Perkins started eight for ten. He's just one for his last three. He completes that one. It's going to be very close to the marker, but a great extra push by Billy Kemp, the fourth, and he'll pick up the first down by a yard in midfield. Still a youth Pop Warner football player. Offensive line's been big, but they don't get much of a push on third down. Stuffed in the backfield. Perkins going to throw it quickly, and it's incomplete. He went to Kemp, who could not hang on, and the Cavaliers turn it on down. Third and short for Liberty just across midfield. Calvert hits Gandy Golden. Antonio Gandy Golden put it on his big timer for a first down. With a new set of downs, Gandy Golden wasn't there. It's intercepted. Calvert was just trying to throw it away, but instead, Devontae Cross with his first pick of the season across midfield for Virginia. He never finds the middle safety. He gets us some pressure here, and he doesn't see the middle safety. He's trying to throw, overthrow everybody, but he doesn't get it done. And back the ball comes the other way from Cross. Boy, Cross took a heck of a shot at the end of this, too. Trying to throw it out of bounds to the sideline. 52-yard return by Cross puts Perkins in Liberty territory, and he takes a lick in the backfield. Cock and Kyer alongside Perkins in the backfield. Now Atkins actually skips to the outside. Pass across the middle, Dubois. He breaks a tackle. Down to the 15. First down, Virginia. Perkins, he actually pulls the linebacker out with the motion of Reed. I thought he might take off, but he waited for Dubois to come over the middle and really back to giving that zone coverage look out to Reed this guy is electric and he'll take it down inside the five it's a swing screen swing route to the outside you see everybody locked up blocking and Reed as good as it gets in run after the Dubois in motion the give to Atkins and he's across the goal line for the Virginia touchdown Span of probably a seven footer. Third down. Calvert under pressure. Pretty good cut block, but nobody open. There is a flag, and Jordan, uh, Josh Mack. Punting situation. Flag flies on the snap. And Kemp makes the catch at the 36 yard line. Three pretty good teams. Absolutely. Good matchup this afternoon in Blacksburg between Pitt and Virginia Tech. This is Kemp, who's been a busy man in this first half for Virginia. Ushered out of bounds by Steele. Not a fond memory, but he has seen him before, of course, last year as well. Give up the middle, Atkins with a huge hole. Does he have the speed to get to the end zone? Not quite, but it's first and goal, Virginia, as Benton saves the touchdown. He counts the box. He realizes there's not enough people inside to get and a really good job of hitting up the field. Just good blocking up front for Virginia. You go to Snow College, you better learn how to speak Samoan, Tongan, Fijian, whatever it is. Well, here's Virginia's Mike Hollins busting it up the middle for the Virginia touchdown. Here leading his team to 
State Championship. Again, excellent blocking, got in behind a solid block up front. Syracuse's season began, of course, at Liberty with a shutout win against the Flames. Taken out of the end zone, he hesitated. Chandra Lewis makes it pay off. Cuts it back in the middle of the field, and he'll take it across the 50 for the Flames. You know, but everybody kind of relaxes, and they all, wait a minute, here he comes. And what a good job of hitting the crease and give the Liberty players in front of him a good job of getting their hats on somebody wearing the dark colored. Defensive coordinator Nick Howell said that Zanier's best football is still ahead of him. On third down, looking for daylight Mac. Confidence that Hugh Freeze showing in his offensive line here on third and short. And a quick snap with a clock moving. Zip to the perimeter. Tough catch. Sideline, but he rips this ball to the sideline. Now third, I beg your pardon. No, it is third down. Third and ten, and that's incomplete. And guess who's there defensively? It's Smith again for Virginia. Makes it. The score would be identical to the halftime score between these two teams a year ago. But this one is going to be wide to the left. A couple batted balls on some RPOs. That you give them credit for that. They're playing 11 into the boundary a lot. And he's uh, he's long. And hurt us some, but we just didn't finish the half. We got to execute 14 to 10. We're driving. Let's go get points. And we missed a field goal that would have cut it to one score. So the ball at a nice clip. It has not been Perkins, and that was the concentration of stopping the run game. On second and eight, Perkins hears it down. Field completes it. This is Jana makes a move down the sideline and near the 30. As the two linebackers come on pressure up the middle, he has man coverage on the outside. He's able to put the ball on Jana. Who but it's become Got a couple of years at the University of Arizona where he coached Nick Foles. Perkins, plenty of time. Now the pocket collapses and down goes Perkins. Out of the field goal, this is Brennan Armstrong who threw it for a first down against Carolina. This time he hits his man down the middle of the field and that will move the chains for Virginia. Not the athleticism of the big 6'7". Linebacker going down the pipe. Good soft throw from Armstrong to get the big big guy the ball, and now you've got an opportunity. They did one play last year, a Hail Mary against NC State. Rice threw it to the other side of the field. This throw is into the end zone, and Joe Reed makes the catch for the Cavalier touchdown. It's zone coverage, but you can't play this soft. Reed's in the slot. He just runs the out route in the slot. Well, Joe Reed was less than 200 yards away from him closing in. On a first down, there is a flag that comes in late. Give up the middle, and Hickson stays on his feet to pick up the first down. Third down defense. Liberty's five for nine on third down today. A couple of tackles and then threw it behind his wide open target downfield. Well, I think Virginia will take getting off the field on third down, so more magnified for obviously for Liberty. Camp calls for the fair catch. He was bumped. There's another flag. Second time today that the Liberty coverage has interfered with a fair catch call. They have taken care of today's reading so far. 21 unanswered points for Virginia. And that ball is caught downfield. Down and 12, again from tweener territory. They can pick up half of it. Presumably they'll go for it on fourth again. Perkins wants all of it. Deep downfield, incomplete. Stubbs back to return the Nash Griffin punt. And that rolls out of bounds at the one. Oh, how about that shot from Nash Griffin? Obviously, with the conclusion they've drawn as well. Virginia defense hunting Calvert on the back line of the goal line. Throws incomplete to Damian King. And now the punter for the Flames, Aiden Alves, has no. In the end zone. Virginia's sixth trip into the red zone today. They've scored all five times previously. Perkins scrambles down to the five yard line. 
it'll be up to the spot. Cavaliers trying to go six for six in the CPI red zone. This is Atkins. He'll spin it to about the four before he's shoved backwards by Clark and Elefante and Rusins and Lemonnier. And a flag comes in late. Perkins going to keep it himself. Breaks a tackle. Perkins into the end zone for Virginia. The guy you want, Jesse Lemonnier, who leads his team in sacks and tackles for loss. Perkins just hits simply with a left hand stitch on stiff arm here on maybe the best defensive player on the team. And steps around it and then 1% on the year. And he's been harassed most of the day. A fastball right down the middle that time to Noah Frith, who caught one of the Liberty touchdowns earlier today. It's the next challenge after today for this Virginia secondary. Picks it across midfield and brought down by his shoelaces. Joey Blount, in yards on the play for Hickson to the Virginia 46 and back to the ground. This play might go the entire distance. Hickson down inside the 15 where Smith got his ankle. A good chunk of change here, but they come right back fighting in the run game and the excellent job up front to create an opportunity. For the injury to Mack on second down to the end zone. What a play! That's Gandy Golden Magic right there for Liberty. The one-handed snag. Touchdown Flames. Yeah, this is a one-handed stab. Quick RPO. They've got Gandy Golden going to the corner. How about that catch? You could pull up Antonio. Uh, you could pull up uh, what Beckham. You could pull up Julio Jones. Whoever you want to pull up, you're not going to see a better catch than that one right there. Ironic. You sit on any lead when you got a team as explosive as what Liberty just showed. Up the middle. Nice job carrying the pile. E.K. Kyer. Some tough yards for Virginia. Morphs into whatever he needs to do from a personnel standpoint. I think that he will make Perkins beat him throwing the ball, not allow him to run the football much like Liberty's done. Can, you, can Virginia run the ball the way they're doing right now with other players other than Perkins? I mean, one of two things is going to happen, and we said this last week in Atlanta, Dave. Up the middle, little scoop. This is Hollis into Liberty territory. Either Virginia's going to the ACC championship game or that streak is going to swell to 16. Talking organization for about 17 years now, and so been around Matt Schaub a lot. Matt Schaub is the last quarterback. Have such team speed defensively. Speed, power, smart. The Tigers have it all. Meanwhile, up the middle, P.K. Kyer. And he is going to take it inside the five. Elijah Benton saves the touchdown. Into a lot of players around the line of scrimmage. If you can get a hat on a hat, which they did here, Kyer finds the crease. There's nobody in the... He's now got eight carries, 75 yards. Atkins, nine for 61. Kyer up the middle, and he will break the play to the goal line for the Virginia touchdown. Robert and I kept him in the game and gave him the ball after the big run to push it down there. It gives Kyer the payoff. Offensive coordinator, all the coaching staff had to pick it up when he was sick, and they've done a nice job of coaching this football team. Damian King makes the catch near the Virginia sideline. President and all those that are having to make decisions on that. Shot the Yarborough sounds like a NASCAR <laughs> scenario if you're a fan of NASCAR, the old Kale Yarborough, but this is a heck of a throw by Buckshot Calvert. Buckshot steps up and almost threw it into the arms of the defender, Matt Gamb. Can't believe he didn't have a second pick of the season. From 37. Is good. There are six FCS programs in Virginia. They also have three D2 programs and 10 D3 programs. Up the middle. Oh, the kicker. Robert denied the gigantic return from Millage. Introduce some games this year. I don't think that I've seen it. And this has been something. Number three. Five yard penalty added to the end of the play. First down. Listen to the tape. 
Perkins pulls it back and is able to get to the edge before he's shoved out of bounds by Liberty's Emmanuel Dabnik. And their best was 216 against William and Mary, the FCS opponent from Williamsburg. Oh, how about this play? Flipping it back. Brissett rumbles down inside the 15. It looked like option, lead option from the shotgun. And here comes Kelly, he kind of intercepts the pitch. Good job down the field. You see Bobby Haskins. We've mentioned him name, his name a number of times. Big fella, the left tackle downfield. On third and eight, fake the give to Atkins. And Perkins near the pylon. Heck of an effort there by Kelly. And that one spins its way. Got a good coach there in Mac Brown who's been around a lot of really good quarterbacks in his day. I, I would be surprised that it didn't develop into something pretty special. Calvert completes it to Yarborough, who's played pretty well for the Flames here today. He Freezes offense is one you're going to want to go play in. Zips it to the perimeter for Yarborough again. And that will move the chains. Get this, Dave. Since 2012, he's at 88. On third and 11. Calvert going down. Love it to high school in Atlanta, Georgia. And he gets his opportunity, and he's going to be involved in getting the quarterback on the ground. They're going for it on fourth and 17. Pressure's coming. Buckshot throws it away, and it is intercepted. Second of the game for Devontae Cross. Cavaliers have Buckshot's number, Dave Archer. Obviously, it's it's probably something that uh, that probably insists them as a bit, but I don't know if they're completely caught up in, in what Virginia Tech's doing. We, we even mentioned the name Virginia Tech. You know, it says Beat Tech on the walls around here. On the Coastal, that's probably how it's going to unfold. Well, this crowd has begun to sift their minds. Oh, heck of a catch. Heck of a throw. The exclamation point for Virginia from Dontavian Wicks. Out of his career for Virginia, the freshman, Shelby, Ohio, Shelby High School. And he said, well, all we had to do was put the tape on of Liberty, and that convinced us, you know what, we need to pay attention to this week. And they did. Uh, but now they can say they don't have to wait any longer. Shadro Lewis trying to make something happen here in the waiting moments. He's a fascinating guy to talk to. Uh, just an impressive guy. Off the fingertips of Noah Frith. But that's part of your earning your stripes here at Virginia, earning your number and your pick to make a selection of what number you might want to wear. Return to Tenye Dixon and Major Williams. I mentioned earlier, his son Cutter back from a two-year mission to Uruguay. That also made it hit home. Liberty trying to tack on some offense. He said his son Cutter, when he came back, he wanted a smoothie and a salad. Two combinations as the Cavaliers have now, for sure, 2019 in the ACC. Final seconds here at Scott Stadium. Unless Liberty takes a timeout, that will probably be the final play of the game. A little salt on it a little bit for him. So Probert from 31. And that snuck inside the right upright.